cheese with that wine, Liz? I'm sure a lot of people are saying that. I got my shit storm glasses. I don't need no fucking cheese or no fucking wine. <laughs> Hey everyone, Hurricane Liz here, as upbeat as ever, but you guys wouldn't probably recognize the fact that I'm wearing something different today. Now, these might just seem like regular sunglasses, but realistically, these things are called shitstorm glasses. Because let me tell you guys what's happened today. There's been a shitstorm that's hit my office, and literally, guys, I'm even, it, I'm even to the point where I'm drinking shit water here. I mean, this is shit water because there's been such a shit storm today in the office. So let me talk to you guys about a little something um, that I wanted to discuss. And that is some days are just going to go like this where they're going to seem like it's a complete shit storm. In fact, today I've even got a list for you guys to tell you about all the things that have happened today. And then I'm going to teach a lesson here at the end of that. But let's go ahead and just jump straight into this shit storm and find out what actually happened today to cause me to wear these shit storm glasses. So first and foremost, and this is the real, the funniest, and the actually most fantastic part of everything. A competitor actually left two one-star reviews on some of our best-selling products. How do we know it was a competitor? That's the best part of all is the fact that he has probably no idea that we know who he is. And not only did we find out he left us one-star reviews, but he's left many, many, many other competitors one-star reviews. And how were we able to discover this? Well, I hate to tell him, and he's probably even watching because he's an upstanding member of the Amazon community, but we have software that nobody else out there has. So if you want to find out more about our software, you can even hit reply on this, or you can contact us somehow below and. There should be a link down there. Uh, it's some of the best software that there is to be able to detect what people are saying about your product and who is actually leaving you one-star reviews. So we were able to match his name. And guess what? The beautiful thing is we've already reported him to Amazon. So sorry, but you shouldn't play dirty, guys. That's number one thing. Number two thing, one of our products got suspended. We had a minor issue with it, so it was suspended. But the worst part of all is, is I was filling out the information that Amazon required from it. I accidentally filled out the wrong thing. So now it's stuck in limbo for maybe even a week. So uh, it earned us maybe about $200 in profit a day. So that basically means we're out $1,500. So boo-hoo, right? Boo-hoo. Would you like some cheese with that wine Liz I'm sure a lot of people are saying that I got my shit storm glasses I don't need no fucking cheese or no fucking wine so the next thing is I can't even read my writing but uh, I'll just have to skip that um I still can't read my writing that's pretty sad that's the the next part of the shit storm uh, the other part I went to use my card at the store and it got declined which is kind of funny because uh, I couldn't buy what I wanted to buy within the time frame that was that I had for lunch, so I had to come back for lunch. You guys know I take my three hour lunches. I was at the three and a half hour mark and uh, had to come back to work. And so card got declined, had to call the bank. Finally fixed it, but still shitstorm. And then our software that we use uh, every day to manage our Amazon business, guess what? It's down and it's working slow as fuck. And luckily our, our developers fixing it, but shitstorm part seven there. Um, I think that's about oh and then finally we had networking gone south sometimes guys here's a great lesson sometimes you're gonna have to deal with assholes when you work sometimes you're gonna have to deal with assholes sometimes people might think you're an asshole but at the end of the day let me teach you guys a lesson if you play clean don't play dirty try not to burn any bridges and just have to deal with the assholes a lot of times you come out looking like a superstar and you can wear glasses like this on a video even though it's about shit storms so had some networking gone south but sort of fixed that up and managed to play clean which is the uh theme of this video play clean if you got to play dirty then you're doing something wrong you should dedicate your time and energy on your own products making them better other than taking a shit on other people's products and then finally what i wanted to leave off with is it might seem like i'm a little bit sour today but actually i kind of realized like god damn i'm pretty badass because none of this stuff really bothered me, but I thought I'd just try to make this funny video for you guys and give you some entertainment. Because at the end of the day, I really pay close attention to what Oprah Winfrey says. Oprah Winfrey says, you know, you're always going to have some, some shit's going to happen, some shit's going to go wrong. And I don't even know if she actually said that. But what she does say is when things like this happen, it's always great to gratitude journal and think of all the things that you should be grateful for instead of the bad things that are happening. Because once you change your perspective like that, you can go really far. So... 
even though I've had a shit storm type of day, trust me, once I get out there in the Miami sun, I'm going to have a heck of a time because I'm going to go home and be thankful for all the great things that I do have, including you guys. So let me know how, how things are with you all, what kind of shit storms you've had, what kind of stuff you've gone through. Put some comments down here, put some suggestions, but at the end of the day, guys, I am pretty freaking blessed and I'm pretty damn happy that I'm able to talk to you guys about all this stuff and make you realize that it's not just you that's going through these things. Sometimes it happens to the best of us. So that was my video, my daily video log for uh, today. I don't even know the freaking date because I've been spent so much time with uh, boots and shit, shit stained boots. I uh, got shit all the way up to my knees today. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.